John Balzu says it makes the most sense to build a new aquarium in Kent County based on information released today from an economic study. News aides Kyle Mitchell explains what this could mean for the community. While a location for an aquarium hasn't been announced, John Balzu says Kent County has the most to offer to move the project forward. A highly anticipated West Michigan aquarium project may still be in the early stages of planning, but new information being released from a study shows the impact the destination could have. Those summaries are telling us that they're expecting $2.9 billion over 10 years. Paul Isley, the associate dean of the Seidman College of Business in Grand Rapids, says while the full study hasn't been made available yet, the estimates seem to fall in line with expectations for a project like this. Roughly for every 100,000 visitors you have, there's about $10 million in impact okay, per year. Um, and they're projecting that there will be more than a million people who come to this every year. So that's another uh, 100 million to 130 million a year in economic impact. The zoo says an aquarium will create 2,427 jobs and generate more than 231 million in state and local tax revenue in the first 10 years. The initial building costs are a big part of the economic impact. And the cost of construction is, has been rated at you know hundreds of millions of dollars. So it's very easy to get very close to a billion dollars just in the construction impact because uh, construction is very local. You're, you're getting stuff very locally, you're building it, you're hiring people very locally. Both Ken and Muskegon counties have expressed interest in the project. The CEO of John Balzuz said in a news release that while both have a lot to offer, Kent County has, quote, greater financial and operational capacity to move this project forward. Isley says other attractions in the area would help amplify the economic impact of an aquarium by bringing in more people. What this does is it increases the number of different things somebody could do if they came to Grand Rapids. So now they can go to the zoo, they can go to Meyer Garden, they can go to the aquarium, they can, you know, there's, there's lots and lots of other, other venues here. And the more there is, the more there is the ability to say, hey, let's go spend a weekend in Grand Rapids. John Balzu declined our request for an interview on the study. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.